it's Monday and today Aura Casting, it's an online casting company that I've talked about before. Um, they're having their one year anniversary and they're having a call, like a virtual event. Taylor from Aura Casting asked me to come and talk about my YouTube channel. So naturally I'm recording a video about it. The call is in nine minutes and I'm just setting up because I want a little more privacy. So I'm in my room, I brought my desk to my room. So entertaining. <sighs> That was a really fun call. A lot of people were on this call. Um, really good resources. Actually, I'm gonna feature Aura and that video at the end of this video, Aura Casting. So you guys can go check it out because they did include a lot of resources, not only for people in LA and the Bay Area, but also all over. Because I got to speak and like talk a little bit about myself. There were some people that were either signed by an agency that they recommended um, in LA, because I did say that I was seeking representation in LA, and two agents that were on this call um, that also do LA representation were like, hey, Let's, let's chat. So that's cool that I got a little bit of a connection. Thank you, Taylor. It was a fun call. Oh my gosh, I do wish it was in person though. <clears throat> hey, I'm, uh, I'm about to work on some voiceover auditions. MDT sent me three voiceover auditions that I need to send in by Thursday, but I'm just gonna do them now. And I logged onto Facebook because I can't remember why. I was gonna like check something. I'm almost never on Facebook. And I decided to click on the memories and girl. This one's from 11 years ago. It says, beginner's luck. Every day is the beginning. <laughs> and then the other one on the same day. Guess who's feeling beautiful today? Me. And I'm wearing heels too. <laughs> the amount of enthusiasm that I have. 11 years ago, 10 years ago, wow. The last, why do I have this on now? The last day of my office job to, or for this week and then the rest of the weekend I can focus on auditions. I have a bunch of auditions. I have an audition for an agency. They wanted me to self tape something. Um, I have a voiceover I still need to finish because I only did two out of the four that I was supposed to do last night. And then um, just other general submissions. I'm happy that today is the last day of my like day job. I'm really grateful for the money I can get from it. But also it's the 26th today and I haven't booked anything in acting. And I really, really, really want to book one good solid thing a month this year. It's gonna happen, we still have, we still have five days, it's gonna happen. I have the whole weekend to submit and send in auditions and actually Thursday, Friday to do that. Cause lately I've been getting a lot of self tape requests on Thursday or Friday. So then I have the weekend to film it. I really need to go into work before I'm late. I have been so busy this morning. I didn't start vlogging, but I actually already filmed three voiceover auditions this morning and I helped a friend with his self tape by recording the lines because he was busy and I was busy so I couldn't actually help him do the actual self tape and be a reader live, unfortunately. But um, I have more self tapes. I have two more self tapes. One is due today, and, well it's due tomorrow, but I wanna turn it in early, I wanna turn it in today. And then the other one, the deadline is like next week. So I'm doing this audition, this self tape is actually for an agency that represents in both the Bay Area and LA. So I wanna audition for them to represent me in LA. They sent me some sides and they want me to perform those sides three different ways, like three different characters. So the first one is, like me, like how I would say it, just say it as me. And then the other two I get to choose. So the other one, I just wanted to be fun with it. So I'm gonna do like a judgmental bestie cause I would love to play that. The third one, I decided I'm gonna do it in Spanish, but what character, whoa, this almost opened up. But what type of person can I play in Spanish? I was thinking about playing like um, a teacher in Spanish or, a doctor. So the first one is me. So I just have to dress as me. Should I put on that pink sweater I always wore? <laughs> I think I'm gonna do this as me. This yellow. Because I do want to change. I don't think I have to change, but I just feel like doing it. So I'm gonna do this bright yellow as me. This as the mean, or not mean, judgmental bestie. And also they go together 
Not at the same, well, maybe at the same time, actually. I mean, not for this, but for when I feel like wearing it. Um, and then the last one, the doctor. How fun would that be if I played a doctor in Spanish? That would be fun. Oh, I forgot to mention, they do, they said they do commercial, like TV and film, so theatrical commercial representation, and then a little bit of print and voiceover. But mostly I'm interested in commercial and theatrical representation in LA. And I do have to say, I remember like when they first started, cause they've been around for almost 10 years. I remember auditioning for them in person. This was a very long time ago and they were brand new. They're still around, that's a good sign, but I would really like to meet with them one-on-one -on -one if they do want to represent me, if they do offer it. I would like to meet them one-on-one -on -one and then get to know them more just because they aren't like a huge agency as far as I know because I've never heard of friends been represented by them. Well, I've met actors who are represented by them and I asked them, how do you like it? And they do, they do enjoy it. I mean, I just don't know like any LA friends that are represented by them and I want to make sure that of course the LA representation I go with is somebody that I really want to work with so I need to learn more about them we're doing a doctor in Spanish have my necklace with my name hi my name is Belgica Rodriguez should I change my hair? I don't think I really need to for the character. Did I just get that on the first take? Let's see. Uh, no, I did not get it the first time. I switched one of the lines. Okay, I'm gonna do it again. I don't know how I felt about that one. Ahora vamos a hacer el de español. Oh, my heater turned on. Let me turn it off. Oh yeah, but that's when I quickly learned that my mom was not gonna accept it and I had to learn to cook on my own. That last audition was for a lottery in a different state and they wanted me to talk about cooking. I like the way that shirt looks on its own, but oh no, my hair, I just fixed it. This looks like put together, but not too like uptight, right? So slate at the beginning, name, height, agency, and then what I'm reading for and the project and then close up, do front and both profiles, five seconds, and then a full body shot. So I'm gonna grab my shoes and then I'm going to do my slate and full body shot first. So which shoes should I wear with this? looking a little frizzy um, and my heater turned on so I need to turn that off really quick a part of me just wants to cut all my hair off it's so much easier to keep short hair neat oh my god my backdrop is getting on my nerves today it's just not cooperating I'm so annoyed today okay start here I just have to be this close because my backdrop otherwise you're gonna be able to see the little corners and see how far I can go. Yeah, I am spending way too much time today on making sure this is okay. I need to move on to the audition. Okay, let's look back at that um, late test I just did to see that my hair is okay. Cause that, I've noticed that my hair can be frizzy a lot. There's a little bit, okay, yeah, I need to brush it down a little bit there in the back. Now I am in my Filmic Pro app and then I have my nano teleprompter. I didn't memorize these lines because I, I just couldn't. Oh my God, I am so frustrated. My hair is like driving me nuts. And then the backdrop is driving me nuts today. Oh my God, I need to relax. If my hair is chopped off during the next video, don't be surprised. And over there too, okay, take two. Oh my gosh, that was long. Yeah, it really it really sucks not to have it memorized, in my opinion, because I'm using the teleprompter and it's not, you know, the best, but 
we did it did that audition okay so now i'm going to film the other audition which actually i think this might be cute uh, this might be too yeah i think this is too like dressy i'm gonna change my shirt this is just gonna be a practice one i don't need to send in the self tape until february 5th which is five days from now so i'm gonna do this self tape send it to my mom and see what she thinks of my spanish and then i will have it just in case something happens and i can't do this audition but i do want to film a different audition if like with my mom's um, feedback. So let me change. This is my outfit for the other one and I'm going to use my hands. So this job I have booked before. It's the same company, a similar type of script. It's a different subject. So this is the one that I'm talking about that I'm like, oh, this audition needs to be really, really good because they already know of me. It's the same company. I don't know if it's a different team of that company. So I'm pretty sure it's the same casting office that's sending this so i'm just like i want to make it so much better than last time i know that when i was on set they wanted me to use my hands and talk with my hands a lot um so i'm gonna do that today and then i just chose this nice little denim because for the actual shoot they did choose something casual and something else that was denim and then my hair was a little bit more loose and wavy this late for this one so again i'm looking at it for like the fifth time so the slate full body shot i'm actually gonna do that second this time since I already have all of this set up. Come in for a close up of your head and neck. Very close. <laughs> okay, so I do need to do the head and neck right now. Continue to saying, um, continue by saying your full name slowly with a beat in between, first and last name. So it looks like they want to me to do my slate like super close. No wonder. I was watching the audition that I sent them the first time, which was the one that I booked. And I did notice that I was like so close for the slate and it's because in the directions i had forgotten they did they are literally asking you to come in for a close-up of your head and neck and then i'm going to answer a question that they're asking how do i know spanish where am i from oh my god oh so close this i can do this i just need to like relax i might need to do this one again but this one i just really wanted to make sure every single word was perfect and um oh i still need to do my full body shot i can't get out of this wardrobe but um i'm going to relax <laughs> edit these auditions send it over to my mom and see what she thinks and then i'm most likely going to film it again just because i do feel pretty tired and like like really hungry too so I mean, I have time. I think I'm just putting way too much pressure on myself to finish um, to finish both auditions today. But let me do my full body shot and then go have dinner because, yeah, I need to go relax. I've been filming auditions for a couple hours and I'm exhausted. <laughs> oh my God. After resting and having some food, I realized I was so exhausted and just really torturing myself and forcing myself to try and make a good audition right then and there even though i had plenty of days so i spent the next day relaxing as well as learning how to say these words practicing these words in spanish that i don't usually say so that next week i can make a really good audition and send it in and book this thing <laughs> 